guys, welcome back. So check this out. I actually started bending some pipes. I'll tell you in the last video that today we we're gonna be bending some pipes. Uh, it's my first time dealing with this. I just uh, bought it, took it out the box, and it actually worked. It doesn't look half bad. Um, so I actually ended up doing the sand method. So you grab sand, you fill it up on the pipe, you pack it really good, put some duct tape at the end, and then you start bending that way. Um, the last video you guys saw that I finished welding those plates, all four plates, and I also, today, before I picked up the camera, I ended up doing the two in the back. The goal for today is to actually start um, spot welding some of the front bumper and rear bumper, and I wanna do something subtle, something simple, nothing too crazy. All right guys, so this is what I'm thinking for location for the pipe. I want it really close to the car and I don't want something too aggressive. All right, so I end up making my first mark. This is gonna put the uh, front bumper two inches from the actual frame. I actually want it higher. I wanna push this thing up all the way up to here. So I need to grind on the top and then I'm probably, oh yeah, check out my cuts. Beautiful. Ooh, oh, uh-oh. No big deal, but it's all right, that's just the first one. I did way better on the second one. Yeah, no I didn't, I screwed it up again. Nothing that a weld can take care of, so I just put one big thick weld in there and then let's say we'll be back in action, no big deal. The Ricky style way, Mickey will kill me if he sees this. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably bring this up, tack it, so I'll probably weld it right there. So it's gonna end up looking for the first pipe, something like that. I just need to mark where I need to sand down so the wheel can actually stick. The tack here worked pretty well, but when I came to this, I had stop. The wheel just stopped working again. I don't know what's going on with it. But anyways, it's level, the leveler's there. Bubbles in the center, and I hope that holds. I may have to put another more stuff here because I don't want it breaking off with weight, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, I'm gonna stand on it. Cross your fingers. my weight. Hey. Who called you over here? All right guys, so I cut a 35 inch pipe and this is what I'm thinking to do next. Like I said, I don't want something huge and crazy. So I'm thinking about putting this right here in the center. It's like three inches from the top bar and maybe do like an angle, two angle bars, two angle pipes right here. All right guys, so I want you guys to have an idea of what I'm looking at or what I'm trying to do. Pretty much I want it to look something like this. Okay, updates. I ended up putting both bars, they're both welded. Don't look at my welding. 
Th hey, this is what I was thinking for the uh, spotlight. So originally I wanted to put the spotlight here, but I was thinking why not put it here? I actually want to put it here now because in case I wreck this thing, which I know I will, um, at least if I end up hitting the front bumper, there won't be a wire dangling or a wire exposed. I can put it here and maybe put the wire through through a small hole through here and then have everything inside the uh, the engine bay. And I should have put this bolt on. I should have bolted on a plate and have this whole thing removable. But I guess that would be for version two. You know how this goes, whenever you're doing a project for the first time, you always think about how to do it better your second time around, so. Now, you guys remember that I bought a switchboard for it, right? Um, thinking about it, I don't even need this. This is the way I'm hooking up my lights right now. I have these two lights, which are floodlights, directly to my headlights. Switch, which already has a relay. Now what I'm gonna do with the spotlight, I'm gonna put those to the fog light switch. I'm also planning on running this light bar. This light bar, I actually wanna put on top of the car for now, but I also don't need a switch for this because I'm gonna try to use the high beam switch for this. Power still works on the fog light, which is good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut this out. Uh, put two wires, black and uh, red, and I'm just gonna hook it up to this black and red. So one thing I just noticed, uh, when I put the high beam on, the fog light switch, light inside turns off. Which means, every time I turn on the high beam, light bar on top on, the fog lights are gonna turn off. So I may have to run the switch for after all. Alright guys, so the all four lights are in. That actually looks pretty sick. Both sets of lights, and I did hook them up. I hooked this one's up to the fog lights, and this one's to the headlights, and all four of them work flawlessly. What I'm working on now, I'm working on the mount that I want for the light bar that I want to go on top. I'm gonna end up grabbing one of these uh, a square piece of uh, metal. I'm gonna drill two holes. I'm gonna use that as my support. And then from here, I'm gonna end up grabbing a piece of metal and putting some legs so I can bolt it down. All right guys, so this is what I ended up making. I ended up grabbing the bar like I said I was, and then a couple of uh, end plates. And I ended up putting another one in between just because this nut is thicker than the plate, so I ended up going double plated at the bottom. These are the mounts for the actual light bar. And I made a mark where the center line is. All right, as you can see, I left a little bit of arc. And what I'm gonna end up doing, I'm gonna end up putting double-sided tape in the bottom of it, and then a self-topper screw on both sides, making sure that it's nice and level. Alright, so I ended up mounting it and it looks like it's perfectly level in the center. The only thing that I don't like about it is the way the bracket works. This is the highest I can turn it. Um, the other way I can do I can go down but not up. It is maxed out. As uh, so you can see the angle, it's gonna be pointing at the engine bay versus um, the street. So I'm gonna have to figure something out with that. I am going to be doing pretty much the same thing that I did back here, but in the back today. So I wanna actually, I have a few hours before I have to go to work and I wanna be able to finish at least the, the rear bash bar. Just got done making these two pieces. They're about four inches um, from the uh, plate. I'm about to cut the bar that goes from uh, across from it, uh, the first one. And I measure from three quarters of a tire to the other three quarters of a tire, and it's about 60 inches. So I'm gonna grab the pipe and I'm gonna cut 60 inches and then start prepping to line it up to make sure it's nice and even.
So you just got them uh, welding this bar in here. So it's level. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing that I did in the front. I made this bar, so it's just like a smaller bar at the bottom and then two angles. Um, so I'm probably gonna be doing the same thing, but instead of being like this in kind of like in a slanted way forward, I'm just gonna keep it flat up and down. So I'm gonna do the same thing back here. I'm gonna do like a smaller bar from there to here and then do two slanted uh, bars right there and then that should look good enough. All right guys, let me show you. This is pretty much what, I, uh, what I've been working on. The long bar that's already attached to the car is gonna go right above it. So that's pretty much the look that I'm going for right now. So this, since I have it there and everything is working uh, fine, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, clean this whole area with the, uh, with the coating, take the whole coating off, make sure it's bare metal. I'm just gonna tack it uh, on both sides and then I'm gonna put it up to the car. Try to center it as best as possible that I can do by myself and then tack it and then uh, take some measurements, make sure that it's level, you know, the whole nine. Once everything looks good, then I'm just gonna start uh, welding all the way around. All right, so I just mocked it in the car and it's actually, it's actually perfect, believe it or not. I mean, I was about to just tack the top to it, but I just realized might as well weld all the way around since I have it out, it'll be a lot easier. And then once I do that, then I'll mark it up again. Make sure the level's fine, zip tie in the spot, and then start, start welding all the way around. All right, since so this is done as well, what I'm gonna be doing next, I'm gonna be doing the, uh, the jack point. I wanna put like a little stub here cut it and then put a flat uh, plate at the bottom, a very small one. So I'm gonna, in case I need to lift up the back of the car, I just go straight to that jack point in the center and I can just raise up the whole back end. This thing is so low that the jack does not fit on the side of it. So I'm gonna do that in the front and I'm probably gonna do the same thing in the back. It's gonna be very, very useful whenever I need to change, I almost fell, whenever I need to change uh, tires or uh, do some type of adjustment. So, so here I have the piece, I uh, just finished shaving it and it's pretty much going to be sitting there. I'm going to cut it right here and then at the bottom I'm just going to weld a plate on it and then that should be good enough. Alright guys, there you have it. Uh, we completed the uh, front uh, jack point for the front bumper. We co we completely built the rear bumper today. There's one right there. Uh, the rear is completely done. All right, so not bad for a day's work. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> What's going on, guys? All right, it is the next day. Obviously, I have the uh, meta card on top of paper because I really want to just paint this thing with primer or some type of base coat so it won't rust over the time that it's gonna be sitting here. All right guys, I already prepped this corner. I wanna see how it comes out first. And I taped some areas and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard uh, so I can block some of the stuff so I, I can just spray it. And what I'm using, I found two cans that I had left over for bed liner from Duplicolor. And essentially all this is, is like, uh, this is used for the uh, corners of your bed liner when you're trying to actually lay the bed liner uh, with the roller. You use the spray for the areas that you cannot reach with the roller. All right guys, so let me show you what it looks like when you first spray it. It looks very gunky, very nasty, and it looks like it's gonna look like crap. But once it starts to dry, it actually starts uh, blending in. It's gonna look like, like wrinkled black, pretty much. Like, you know how you guys do Valcaro's wrinkled black? It's gonna look like that, but it's just a bit stronger and a lot thicker. And I just put a base of primer on the gray portion. And then I'm right now I'm cleaning um, with acetone. I'm cleaning um, the bar. Those are the brackets for the uh, light bar that I made.
it's been a long day, so check this out. I got all the lights working. I also paint it. Uh, this is still wet. If you can see all the dark spot, that's because it's still wet. So the paint's still wet. It's gonna be a while before it dries. Um, but so far, it's just looking awesome. How about the vacuum, I made a huge mess here doing the wiring and the uh, making the holes for it. This is what I ended up do doing for the bracket. I just made a couple of 90 degree bends in there and I bolt right through it. And these are the original holes that I have for the original bracket. Uh, they were inside, so I decided to go all the way out. This thing can still adjust down. Uh, this is the highest it goes this way, but because of the bends and the way I located the brackets, I'm able to just push this back and bend it and then adjust it as I go. So that's way better, way more practical. I've been working so much on my other job that I haven't been here when it's dark. So this is my first day being here when it's dark. So I'm about to take this out and um, test all the lights. All right, guys, I'm in the car right now. I'm right outside my house. I'm gonna put the car in the middle of the road with the lights off. What the heck? No, wait a minute. <gasps> Son of a bitch. So, so I hooked the lights up to the dome light wire. And no wonder it was only working sometimes. I thought I fixed the issue. <laughs> it's a simple fix. Um, I'm just gonna have to bypass the uh, the switch that's on the door. Anyways, I'm gonna have to keep the door open while I do this. I guess I can bring it up some. Here we go. All right, so let's turn this one off and let's turn it light on. And these are the spotlights. Which to me, they seem kind of low. I want to raise those up a little bit more. Other than that, I mean, you can still, you can see far away. I guess next thing is going to be take this thing for a rip. But tomorrow, because it's dark out. So I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, it is the next day and I need to apologize. So I got bored, so I started working even more in the car, not realizing that I should have been recording this. But check this out. This is what I did so far. So I added two more bars to the center of it and I ended up cutting the cover of the fuel, fuel tank so this thing can fit because uh, when I welded this bar right here I didn't realize that I welded it too low I mean there's really not nowhere else I could have gone um, and it's just a cover shell the the fuel tank is actually untouched under it um, there's and there's like a huge gap between this and the fuel tank behind it and I just did a plate leave that thing's hot uh because one of you guys in the first video when i was talking about the nitrous bottle actually said in the comments that maybe i should attach it to the cage and that was a great idea so there was quite a few people that said the same thing and i really liked the idea so that's pretty much what i'm doing right now i must see how it turns out pretty much gonna put the uh, bracket holder here uh, and then do another uh, bracket under it it's probably gonna go in this area and that's gonna be able to hold the mount for the bottle right there and then i'll put the bottle in and see how it looks like What am I doing? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. All right, guys, it is the next day, and the car's actually completed. Uh, I'm gonna put the footage right now so you guys can see all the way around the car.
Pretty good at doing burnouts. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. See you on the next time.